we are at the foothills of Binram today on August uh, 28th and you see lava is flooding Sidri Meradalur Valley here and from here it also spilling over north to Meradalir as you see here along the edges of uh, uh, Big Ram still going to Meradalir but not really it doesn't it's not reaching Meradalir but just moving along the edges really here on the top There is Meradalir Valley, there is, you see. That's where the lava is going. I couldn't reach the volcano because of the winds. Uh, there is no drone flying weather. Winds are the way too strong. by helicopter <laughs> you can see what is going on there but the cycle uh, ended or is about to end because it was active in the night so we are just seeing the outcomes of the flows the end phase on the edges the next cycle uh, will be in 20 hours or so the peak, the next peak I mean. So you have to wait, maybe I'll come again. Because today my last day at work, so there's a kind of good we'll come closer to this river. But there are many gases, that's why I move it up. You can feel because it's irritating the throat and the lungs. So you can feel it immediately. But the higher you move, the safer it is, so it's fine where I am. Usually in gases staying close to the to the lava in the valleys, close to the ground. It's a pity I don't have any bottles with me. It would be nice to do experiments here. So much lava close to the edges. You can throw whatever in it, you know. Any fruits or vegetables. generating very special cracking noise you can hear it because uh, I am blocking the vent noise so and it blocks all noise <laughs> except the voice see 
I'll go higher and I'll show you Mero Dali how is the situation there if anything changed. Anyway, this is what is happening here. <laughs>